Yeah, I want to answer a quick question on the scope actually for um, the Spooky 2. I know sometimes people want to run um, different duty cycles on the Spooky 2 generator and they might be picking out like, uh, I don't know, certain frequency sets on a consolidated frequency list or what's listed in the program. Now you can set the boost cable, you have to set it up per the instructions and I marked with tape which one goes on out one because if you reverse the boost cable you'll have an opposite effect and undesirable um, setup but the way to do this if say for instance you were using a much higher frequency that you couldn't feel through the body like uh, I don't know 395,000 or something or 395 kilohertz uh, one of the hold the Clark frequencies and say you wanted to use 100% positive offset as we show here um, with the boost cable you would show one uh, 100 positive offset on out one and minus 100 out two because you were using you're checking off inverse sync and it makes it just the opposite now I was able to determine that the duty cycle changes on both uh, both channels I kinda thought it did but there's one place or on the generator itself it doesn't say that but the graphic representation does change, change the duty cycle say for instance normally you would have it on a 50 percent and you can see the graphic jet representation changed we change it to a 78 percent and you can see the graphic representation changed again now just want to show you I'm gonna change the scope I put the zero line down further that's the actual zero line and I'm gonna start this and you'll see with the 78 percent duty cycle because it's gonna go all uh, it's a hundred percent positive offset like I said it's actually for inverse for two for the boost cable it's minus 100 on the second channel and plus 100 on the first channel because the second channel is going to be inverse so that makes makes them actually both go positive positive offset but say you're using a different duty cycle like 78 percent and we start it and you can see this I have the zero line down lower so when you see it start you can see the whole there it is you can see that the top you know it's 78 percent on the top in other words it's going from zero and that's about 22 volts 22 volts and back down to zero with no going to dipping to negative and that's a 78 percent duty cycle now some people use that 78 percent duty cycle um, because it has harmonic more harmonics in it it's the second and third harmonic instead of just hitting it's odd and even harmonics so I just want to point this out because um, you know if there's any doubts as to what to do for say contact mode or something and then there's people that just ask these questions the duty cycle is actually changed on both channels now if you look on the if that comes in clear you can see channel 2 down here on the bottom it says 50 percent channel 1 says 78 percent in actuality the software is making it 78 percent on both channels and it's doing the inverse sync because if it wasn't the wave would not look like this uh, it goes by the graphic representation as John White designed it but there's one thing in the program itself it says 50 percent here it's actually 78 percent on both so just to make and just to see if you know what it looks like with 50 percent we'll click it on and excuse me I had to first stop it before I, I change the setting we go to 50 percent graphic representation changes click it on loads waveforms and I have the zero line down here because this is all going to be going positive uh, just to show because otherwise I'd have to change the scale so you can see it's 50 percent going to zero 50 percent going to the positive if it's the other way we'll change it back 
Um, some people use this. It's probably not a bad idea to use something like this because actually, I don't want to state any names who does that, but there are some famous people that use this 78% or something and because it hits odd and even harmonics. So it's going positive more often. So 78% of the wave is up here and 22% of the wave is down at the zero line. So it does work correctly and you got to make sure you have these boost cables the right way as outlined in the Spooky2 instructions and you can go to the website Spooky2.com and download them and stuff. Now I don't work for or I'm not a representative for Spooky2. I'm just an end user and I'm just putting some of these things out some of these niche videos out for some people that might have questions and actually I had to double I want to double check these things because sometimes I'm thinking that's the way it is but I'm not always 110 percent sure because these are settings that I don't know if they're actually recommended they have other settings they recommend in the manual but some people have been doing things different ways for some years and there's other people there's other researchers that do things other other ways some researchers use 100% positive offset 78% duty cycle and it will change the duty cycle on out to it'll work with the boost cable and all that type of stuff you have to use the inverse sync feature which is down here that's got to be checked off and when you're doing that and you're using 100% positive offset you have to make sure out to is minus 100% because That'll make it, when it's inverse sync on out two, the minus 100% will go to positive 100%. That's just how it works, man. So, but just to verify it on the scope, it uh, works as designed. Again, you know, like I have the zero line down here. So when you look, that's 22 volts going up. Back to zero, 22 volts going up, and it's 78% duty cycle. So works flawlessly. Now, I tried messing around with trying it on this, and sometimes I got it to work. Not using the software, but using these buttons. And I was very careful. I was following the same steps, but sometimes the generator itself is a little bit... Uh, you really, If you're trying to program inverse sync through the generator, I would not recommend it if you're just doing it through the generator itself. I would use the software. If you're doing one channel through the generator by itself, you're okay. I found that if you're trying to program the boost cable through with the inverse sync through the generator, it seems to be hit and miss. When it goes through the software itself that John White designed, it always works flawless. That's what I found. So just to put that as a heads up.